Hello, dear students. In this video, let's learn the textual exercises of the lesson. Why? The first textual activity that is included in this lesson is reading is fun. There are three questions included in this exercise. These are comprehension questions from the poem Why? Let's discuss these questions one by one. Okay, children? The first question included here is name a few things that sink. Children, we have learned that the word sink means to go under the surface of water. And we have also learned from the poem why that lead and marble sink in water because they are heavy. Now you will have to look for other things which sink in water and list them down as your answer. Okay, now here is what I have written down, children. A few things that sink in water are stones, eraser, sand, and some metals. So these are the things listed out by me. You are free to add any number of items that sink in water. Okay. Moving on to a second question, list three questions that the little boy asks. There are so many questions that the little boy asks here, isn't it? You can pick any of those three questions and write your answer. The questions picked by me are, the three questions that the little boy asks are, why do lead and marble sing? The second question is, what makes the cloud? And the third question is, why do we eat and drink? Moving on to the last question in this section. What sort of a boy is described in the poem? Here the three options that are given are sad, curious and brave. And we all know that the boy in the poem why is curious. Children, let's now try doing our next textual exercise, which is word building. Let me first read out the question, children. Fill in the blanks with words from the poem, which rhyme with the colored words in the sentences. This is a very simple exercise, children. Here, all you need to do is find out rhyming words for the colored words that are given in each of these questions. Okay. Before we do this, let's revise what rhyming words are. Rhyming words are words that end with a similar sound. For example, say, may. Here, these two words are called rhyming words because they end with a similar sound. Clear? Let's revise this by finding out the rhyming words from the poem Y. Children, I have displayed the poem Y on the screen. In the first stanza, the rhyming words are why and by or by the by. Okay. In the second stanza, the rhyming words are sink and drink. In the third stanza, the rhyming words are sky, die. And in the last stanza, the rhyming words are try and why. So rhyming words are words that end with the same sound. Okay, so let's now try to do this exercise. In the first question, why is the dash so high? Why is the colored word? So for this word, we can write our rhyming word sky. Why is the sky so high? If you want, you can pick out a rhyming word from the poem itself or else you can write your own rhyming word. Okay, moving on to the second question. Do you know the color of dash? Here, the colored word is no and its rhyming word is snow. In the third question, have you found who made the dash? Here, the colored word or the highlighted word is found. And for its rhyming word, we can write sound. Have you found who made the sound? And finally, in the last sentence, Put the glass in the sink after you finish your dash. You can write the rhyming word drink. 
let's now do the next exercise children children this exercise also comes under word building the spellings of these words are jumbled put them right and make sentences of your own a set of four jumbled words are given you will have to unscramble it or correct the spelling and write them down in the space that is provided here okay the first word is already done and it is no now what could be the second word children very good it is swim and the third word it is lead fourth word is marble and the last word is very good hills here you have written down the words with their correct spelling isn't it now all you need to do is use these words and frame sentences children this is going to be your home assignment as soon as you complete your assignment don't forget to post it to your english teacher's whatsapp number okay our next textual exercise is let's write in this section we have got three questions let's discuss them one by one children the first question is why do cats and dogs fight we all know that cats and dogs are big enemies isn't it they mostly fight over food and because dogs are bigger than cats they try to dominate and try to chase them away isn't it children yes so we can write our answer cats and dogs fight over food as dogs are bigger than cats they try to chase cats away our second question here is why do we walk across the road not run children this is a serious question if you run across the road there is every chance of you getting hit by a speeding vehicle so it is not at all advisable for you to run on the road instead you must wait and look for vehicles on both the sides and then walk across the road okay this is for your own safety okay so we can write down the answer we walk across the road to avoid accidents running across a road is dangerous for there is the chance of getting hit by vehicles moving on to the third question why do people like ice cream everyone loves ice cream isn't it children yes and why do we all like to have ice cream probably because it is cold and it is sweet and also because it's available in different flavors right yes so we can write down ice cream is a cold dessert that is tasty and comes in many flavors so people love ice cream our next exercise under the heading let's write is write down at least two questions using why this is a very simple task children please try to frame two questions using the word why okay this is your second home assignment children there is also one more interesting activity for you in your textbook which is painting with onion halves and bottle tops children the things that are required to do this vegetable painting are two onion halves two bottle tops watercolor and a plate for mixing the color okay now let's get into the method of doing this vegetable printing take an onion cut it into half mix some paint of any color with a little water in a plate dip the cut side of the onion into the color now press it on a paper to make the signs press the bottle top into the center of the design you can use another color for the other onion half and the other bottle top children in order to do this vegetable activity i have taken an onion which is cut into two halves these onions will form my flowers okay 
Now I will be using a chilli in order to draw the leaves as well as the stem of my plant. I will also be using the half of a lemon in order to make flower. As for the colours, I have used red, blue and green. Now let's get started children. First, take the onion half and dip the cut side of the onion into the paint. Here for my flower, I am using red colour. Now I am going to press this onion onto the white sheet which I have got here. Let's repeat this children. I need three flowers. So my three flowers are done. Now it's time for me to draw the stem. Here goes the leaves. And my plant is ready. Now let's make flowers using this lemon. I am going to dip the cut portion of the lemon into the blue paint. Let's repeat it. Now I need to draw the stem and leaves for these plants. Children, here is my vegetable painting. Doesn't it look beautiful? I want you to do the same children. You can use vegetables like onion, green chilli, lemon, capsicum and lady's finger in order to make your vegetable painting. Okay? And after you have done your painting, don't forget to take a pic and post it to my personal WhatsApp number. Okay? Children, for some more ideas on vegetable painting, you can go through these pictures. The two pictures on the screen are painted using lady's finger. Here in the first picture, you have got a painting which is done using onions. And in the second one, lady's finger is used in order to make these prints. The butterflies in this first picture were made using potatoes. And in this picture, lady's finger is used. Okay? So please try to do it children. Now in page number 65, you have got a poem to read and enjoy. The title of the poem is The Man in an Onion Bed. The poem is written by John Seard. Let us read the poem, children. I met a man in an onion bed. He was crying so hard his eyes were red and the tears rolled off the end of his nose as he ate his way down the onion rose. He ate and he cried but for all his tears, he sang, Sweet onions, oh my dears, I love you, I do, and you love me, but you make me as sad as a man can be. So this poem titled, The Man in an Onion Bed is about a man who is sitting on an onion bed and he is eating onions. What do onions do, children? They make us cry. So here, the man loves onions, but then, they sure make him cry. So he says that, Dear onions, I love you, but you sure make me sad. So with this, children, we have completed the textual exercises of the lesson. Why? I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Thank you and have a wonderful day.